Welcome back to Amnesia Rebirth. This is a really strange playthrough for me because just like the last recording session, it's been literally months since I've played again. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what I can say other than that. Just, whew, what a weird playthrough. What a weird life. Anyway, I know we've explored this room. I know that we read those two tablets. We have some power stuff going on involving this. Um, and I stopped the last episode right about here. Never read these tablets. Let's see if we can get the lights on in here. I forgot exactly how this worked. Right, it needs a connection with that to get power, does it? I'm not sure, but I don't think we're getting the lights on in here right now. Doesn't seem so. Iliander, Septarch of the Enkindled Fortress, has dispatched messengers to the Outer Isles under the guise of a trade mission. Despite our previous warning, it is my recommendation that we relocate three fists of the second regiment to the isles immediately. On the matter of the harvested stock, it has been suggested that with the new chamber development, the need for such stock will diminish. I believe that is short-sighted. This new capacity surely means that we are at liberty to increase the number of factories. With that, we can vastly increase our defense capability as well as increase standards of living across the empire. This new expertise is a gift. We would be wise to make use of it. Instruct me, great empress, and I will inform the council of your decision. And your name, Eternal. What is that? There's a line from there, pointing there. I tried placing this there, though, and it didn't do anything. I don't know. We have seven to ten matches and a decent amount of the lantern. Of course, the lantern lasts for all of, like, two seconds. look like medical chairs. Hmm. Person in the center and two stars on each side. Like two consoles on each side or something. Two connections. Something. Looks like a warning of some sort. I guess just because it's red, it feels like a warning. Ooh, oil. A large one. Let me get this crystal thing back in here.
Hmm. It's pinpointing two places on this. One, like, about there. And the other, like, about there. Those are the ones I read, right? Yes. Broken. Or is it broken or is it just we can't understand the language? I don't know, the flashing of it makes it look like it's broken. If I open the door and take this away, does it close? Yes. I wonder if that means if I threw something at it to disconnect it from the other side of the door, if I could trap myself in here. Let's not test it. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of science going on in there. I find myself attracted to the dark parts first, though. Even though they are scary. <laughs> That looks like blood or something. And that needs power. Okay, I'm actually quite scared to continue down this hallway now. I don't like this. More of that blood fluid stuff. And this doesn't open. Okay, that's kind of a relief. Oh, I love those footstep sounds. How much oil do we have left? We already went through half of it. Jesus. Okay, so you can select group. Whoa. Groups of three symbols. And that makes these three turn. All around this. What is that? Looks like it's asking for something. Wants me to put something in there? I love how that opens. That's so cool. That's our goal. Okay. More of that liquid. Did it come from this? It burst? Were they both burst, I guess? Hmm. So I guess I need replacement fuses, basically. <laughs> Okay, yeah. That would power that up. Hmm. 
What is that? And that? What is all of this? I don't suppose this goes here? No. That is way too big. Okay, these things are way too loud. They're terrifying. Just throw them in the corner. Oh, there's a whole bunch more of these. All sorts of different sizes. Oh, this one's so tiny. Oh. Stay there. This is the thing that goes in that centerpiece over there with the three runes around it. Yeah, there's a diagram of it. Yeah, a diagram of those three things and the center thing being connected to the thing with the two fuses and then the two fuses. Under the sign of Idu on the first rise at the eighth calling, I, Kita, make this record. The configuration of the new test gate has been delayed by a failure in a subsidiary node. Mihara, you must complete it on the next rise, as you have been prepared. Place the orb in the center. Select the focusing symbols for this alignment and insert two full cells of Vitae. Remember Tamaku's lessons, Mahira. Master the orb. It is your focus and discipline that will open the portal and allow objects to be sent through. Oh, that's not the thing that goes in. That's the thing over the orb that goes in. It feels like... Like... It's waking up. Another, like, connector node. Okay. Yeah, now we can get in there. Might as well put the orb in the center, I suppose. Or, um, there we go. Oh. Everything has to be contained when the orb is in there. Uh, I guess we should take it out then. Hmm. 
fuel. Oh, that's a person. following me aren't they they're yeah they're very very slowly very very slowly looking at me hi so they're barely alive okay well it looks like this is the thing keeping them alive so if I flip this it's probably gonna kill them What is this? That's oh, locked. Locked shut. Uh, this might have one of the like vitae cells or whatever. So I might have to to shut this off and take it. But let's not do that unless we need to. sun at the great gate. It tore the air and the land. A corruption of living flesh crawls from the hole in the world and turns all to ash and rust. The control stones have turned against my kindred, shaping them into floating wraiths of nightmare. The city falls. I am to blame. My companions took my formula, some to use it to destroy the Vitae at the gate, others to infect the Vitae pipelines and end the suffering. The gate has indeed fallen, but catastrophically, unleashing energies beyond belief. Still the factories scream. We have failed in the worst of ways. It is my duty to stay at my post, to see if I can find means to end it I have no choice but to use the Vitae. An ocean holds the great Empress to life, so a meager portion will suffice for me. If any find this record, know that I was the traitor Kita. Alchemist, apprentice to Tamaku. Forgive us our folly. So that would be them clinging to life. Is that the white sun that they talked about? So it sounds like they're trying to command... Their attempts at commanding the Vitae led to everything going wrong? Or... Something going wrong with the gate led to something taking over the Vitae and perverting it or something? Hmm. Oh, there's one that's still lit. Thank you. 
Now look at this place. It isn't Arabic or Tuareg or Ottoman or anything I recognize. gelatinous flesh it has taken me many many rises in the gaps between my work for Tamako but finally it is done I have a formula which is in sympathy with the pulse of the orb I can provoke the symptoms of the red flesh and with it will come destruction channeled through the Vitae network this might be the answer we seek Tamako's early experiments with the orbs summoned an entity, a creature, that scarred the world with its passing and wreaked utter destruction. The scar took the form of living, pulsating flesh. I have studied the orb, and I now know why the scars appear. I believe I can make use of the same perturbation to achieve our own ends. Wasn't there an orb in the original Amnesia the Dark Descent? Alexander or whoever it was wanted an orb, I think. It's been a long time since I've played it, but yeah, I think that's how it ties in is that they were both involving the, not that any of the characters are the same, but like the powers that were at play, causing the flesh and stuff to appear all over the castle in the original, I think is the same powers that caused this. I think we're talking about the same orb. that little creature all oh, the teeth are kind of terrifying but man looks like it had big old eyes and like a little rattlesnake tail or something well no that's just a human skull of those. I think the other one is with Kita. I'm not going to disconnect it just yet. hear a weird noise. I don't know what that noise is, but I'm getting out of here. Yeah, 
Yeah, of course. We need another one. I guess I need to shut off their Vitae flow. Is there anything else I can do with this? Over here, perhaps. I'm not going to get that door open. daisy chain together so I can extend the length of this. Nah. Okay, I need to go just get the other thing. Sorry, Kita. Uh, sorry. back. I mean, what's the point though? I still need to take it. God damn it. Sorry. I... I... I don't know, any last words? Does it need something there? Um, perhaps this? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't think so. Actually, if I try to actually like use this, what happens? Just says wrong. Yeah, let's go take this back out and look at the diagrams.
Place the orb in the center, select the focusing symbols for this alignment, and insert two full cells of Vitae. That doesn't say anything about putting anything in particular inside of that thing. Although I see in the picture there's like some cubes. Um, but yeah, I do see a couple of the focusing symbols here. Kind of hard to tell which ones exactly. They're quite small. But I guess <clears throat> I guess it probably shouldn't be that hard. One that looks like an earring post on the left, and then another one that has like three lines going down. Yeah, I was pretty sure it was that one. Okay, so that can be turned on even without the orb. Let's get the orb in there. Now what? Oh. Does it teleport whatever's in there? Aha! Then I think I need to teleport this. Let's get the hell out of there. Got to get out of here. Fucking hell, that orb is orb is cursed. Baby's sure grown. Mama. is one and one. Ali? 
Alice. Alice can't play. Alice can't play. Alice is gone. Don't worry, Mama. I'm here. Alice Alice Salim Salim, quickly That's terrifying. <laughs> Months more. Oh, God. Oh. Some matches. Don't think I'm getting up there six months pregnant. Oh, shit. This isn't a dream. This really isn't a dream. Be able to dig that out? Ah, look at that ladder. 
Is that a way out? Ooh, that can be broken. Something heavier? Listen to that lid go. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh. I can't believe this. What if I get even bigger? Okay, no more torch. Some oil. Oh, we have a portal somewhere over here. Here? the fleshy stuff. Also a dead end. Oh, that smell. Like, uh, like back in the laboratory. It's getting stronger.
this we can work with? Don't touch it. Oh, fucking hell. this a ladder and some light just gotta get to it <laughs> but we have to go down to the foggy dark basement first six matches portals. Oh, light, some fuel, hand trowel. seem to go somewhere. What is that? Hey, little creature. Huh. Okay, dead end. Just a cute little creature. I 
don't have to light up every torch, but Jesus Christ, do I want to? Oh. Yeah, we're running. Looks like we're putting another machine together. Observations. Laden jar like a vessel resembling those in place in device in portal chamber, but spent, broken. Relic age unknown. Manufacturing quality high, as if welded or cast using advanced modern industrial methods. Spiral symbol on Laden jar bank also found on door near camp, leading to maze slash grid chambers below. Devices powered by electric fluid. Or some means of gathering electric fluid?
22nd of May, 1839. That thing is after me. It's been hunting me for days, but I keep out of its trail, so I will persevere. I can see a settlement at the edge of the desert. I'm getting closer. I can see it. But it's not me. It's Abdullah. Through his eyes, I see. His mind, I hear. Confined to myself, I see only death dressed in the orb's darkest shadow. To Alexander von Brennenberg from the first game. We were right. Zer. 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 Zera is real. I took an orb from the shrine in the salt mines, but the shadow pursues, and I am trapped. I will attempt the crossing. It is my only way out. Record my name. Tell all. It was Herbert who gave us new worlds to explore. another gateway, I think. A portal. Like in that laboratory, but... big enough for us. Look! Little one, I think this is a way out of here. I know it's crazy, but... can we get it working? I need to do something with those up there from the three control stations around here. But there's also this. Is this Roman? Oh, little one. How did we get to this? Oh, and how did you grow so fast? I hope you're all right. Khalid, a full and accurate copy of the symbols on the room with the pillars is most important. Devote yourself to it. I wish it to be completed by the time I rise tomorrow. In particular, pay attention to the symbol I have labeled as Seed. I believe it to be the crystal orb that I seek. A clue to its whereabouts will see you well rewarded. Ethereal Resonance Chamber, Flow Selector, that's the thing with the orb in it, I think, or Pedestal and Shielding, that's the big orb <laughs> that you stand inside of, Laden Jars, Energy Store.
Professor, I believe this is only one part of a Becker construction. The archives make reference to this place as a gate, but it also talks of other gates, if I am reading correctly. And there is a symbol that I read as crops or harvest? Perhaps it's related to this seed? Okay, let's get some lights going. Actually, hold on. I want to I want to make sure I know where every light is so I can use my matches to the utmost efficiency. Ah, right. It goes out fast if you run. Ah. Oh, I didn't get that one up there. I don't think I'm going to make it. Rip. It must be lit. I think that's it. Just makes the place feel a little bit less scary. Abdullah, Khalid will take on Daniel's duties. You are to commence excavation of the side tunnels immediately. Break down the Roman walls if you must. They are irrelevant. Anything older than Roman, investigate. If there are any more markings, such as are in the room of the cage, I wish to hear about them. Any records, carvings, or signs that resemble an amulet or bracelet, I wish to hear about them. Any round stone of crystal, do not touch it on pain of death, but summon me at once. A Door to Many Worlds by T.A. Herbert. And a couple others? B.A.M.A.? Or is that their degrees or whatever? Uh, forward. As I write this memoir, my great endeavor is on the verge of completion. That very threshold which has eluded the members of our fellowship down the ages lies before me, and I, Thurston Herbert, have the keys within my grasp to open it. What great beauties, what bounteous, bounteous um, paradises may lie beyond the gate. Surely it will lead to the Arctic deeps, to the megalithic structures in Brazil, to anywhere within our realm. Yet we may go further. The evidence has been before our eyes since the days of Adam. I use that example advisedly, for surely the story of Adam is the Hebrew re retelling of our first arrival, thrust out of that Garden of Eden and into this harsh world. Beyond the gate lies the garden, the place of our making, and I will be the first since Adam to... Alright, Herbert has a massive ego. Dear God, Herbert, chill. Did we read this one? No. 17th of May, 1839. I was right, and it is a bitter pill. A mithraeum, and in it an orb, and now my dolt of an assistant has shattered it. I have sent it and him to Brennenburg. Perhaps something may be salvaged. So what is left to me now? Well, there is a gate here. I have Vitae, but I have no orb, and have discovered nothing of what Brennenburg called the Traveler's Locket. Yet it is clear this place is part of something greater. These halls are not the final resting place of their great queen, whatever the legends may say. This is merely a spoke on a wheel. What does the hub hold? Did we read this? Yes. Yeah. 
We need to get out of here soon. This is Richards. He was here. I didn't care. Oh, I didn't mean to skip that. They left us. Richard and uh, Alec. Hold on. I think it's in. Yeah, here we go. I don't. I, I don't. Re I don't care. Boy, that is insane. I won't. I won't. Richard, come back! Richard! Oh, that was it. Remember why. I want to go in there. be something up there. I can't lift those up. The barrels. Is there any possibility of me actually getting up there? Come on. Hmm. Nothing? Oh, man. Okay, I guess there's nothing then. I say as I keep looking for things. Okay, there truly is nothing. <laughs> and there's no way I can get to that second level up there. We have creepy hole or less creepy hole. Let's go less creepy. Well, then again, there's a blood stain. Uh, I think it's a dead end, though. He's one of those like Vitae energy capsules. Down here we go. Ugh. What are those noises? 
the fuck? Oh. Oh, that's what I'm hearing. Uh, you know, I'm actually kind of glad I can't open that. Safe. Yeah, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Right. Do we have what we need for this? Wait, hold on. What's up here? More nasty goo in there. Hey, little guy. Look at those hairs. So hairy. Radio? as well be on the moon unless we can get out of here <laughs> the 
diagram on wall. Map? Ley lines? Star chart? Position on radio spectrum akin to wavelength? Must test complete paths. So cool. Perhaps there was once a real person called Tin Hainan, a leader of her people. If so, she is likely buried in the Turag tomb far above us. There are other, much older stories that have been conflated with hers. Legends of the Grey Lady, a goddess who walks the desert. Legends of a healer. Legends of an empress. I think these are ancient memories of what truly happened in this place. That's really scary. Not just yet. Not yet. Three pillars that can be adjusted. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, we saw that coming in. was saying it finally paid off as the matches that broke out of that pot phased through the ground and disappeared into the ether. Well. Oh, this is so gorgeous. I love this like mysterious overgrown ancient technology. See the gears poking out of the ground. This place is so strange. Who on earth built it, do you think? Who on earth? Time to go in here. 